Hey piano players, today I want to share with you a really fun warm-up I often give to my later beginners or my early intermediate players. I call this the Vivaldi warm-up because Vivaldi was infamous for using a lot of this progression called the circle of fifths progression in his works. In this warm-up, the right hand and left hand are playing exactly the same thing. Let me just demonstrate what the right hand is playing and later we're going to migrate that to the left hand. Let's start learning the exercise, okay? We're going to first start with the A minor root chord, which is A, C, E. Okay, in this exercise, we're actually going to go from the top to the bottom like this. That will be our first shape. Our next shape, we're going to keep the A here, and we're going to migrate these two, the C and the E, to the D and F. So we're going to go one step up. Let's look at that again. We're going to start with A minor. Four times, and then we're going to go up. And we're actually going to apply this pattern another four times, and that would be the exercise. So have a look at this one. Go up. Now move your whole hand to the G major chord and apply the same thing we just did. Move down to F. This next one's a special one. We have to go to the E major, not the E minor. So we're going to need to play one black note here. Up. Let's go through that one more time. This time I'm going to be playing the blocks so you can see a little bit more clearly. In its broken arpeggios form, it would sound like this. Let's move on to the left hand. Left hand is playing exactly the same notes as the right hand, and it's going to be a mirror image of the right. So we're going to go from our pinky to the middle to the thumb, so like this. Okay, so not like this. It's not descending, it's actually a mirror image of each other. What fingers should you use for left hand? I recommend 531 for each first shape. And next one, use 521. Move on to the G. 521. 5-3-1, 5-2-1, So I hope you can see the pattern there. It's always 5-3-1, 5-2-1. And the next set, 5-3-1, 5-2-1. Next set, 5-3-1, 5-2-1. Next set, 5-3-1, 5-2-1. Sounds like this. Practice the right hand by itself and then the left hand by itself before you put it together. And finally, when you then also put pedal in, it will sound something like this. And you repeat as you wish. As you are doing this warm-up, it's really important that you try to completely coordinate your hands so that they are 100% in sync. So you don't want to play something like this. You want to actually do something like this. 100% together. For this reason, I really love this exercise. It just is a great kind of starting exercise to help me get my hands completely in sync before I practice my pieces. Once you master that, if you want two other kind of fun ways to practice this little exercise, here are two suggestions for you. First one is to do this exercise completely staccato. Another way to practice this is to practice these 
in its block chord form and you can come up with your own rhythm for it. So for example, one way to practice it would be something like this. Also really good for kind of getting the hands completely in sync. When you're playing them in blocks, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six notes, six notes in total, you wanna to make sure everything is completely together. There you go, just a really quick video to share with you a warm up I really enjoy doing. Let me know how you go with this warm up in the comments. If you're keen to know more about the circle of fifths progression, David Bennett has a really great YouTube video on this. I'll link it in the description below. Want to learn any piano related things? Let me know in the comments. 90% of our content comes from your questions. Catch you in the next piano tutorial.